Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Coral Reef Keepers. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick update on my 60 gallon aquarium, my 20 gallon aquarium, and also doing a quick intro on the new aquarium that I just purchased behind me that you see in the background. Uh, so let's go ahead and get to the video. All right, so it's uh, it's been a couple weeks since I've done any kind of updates on my tank, so I'm just going to do a quick run through uh, on the two aquariums, uh, let you know how they're doing, how the coral growth is doing, stuff like that. All right, guys, so let's get right into the updates. Uh, taking a look at the 20 gallon nano, uh, the tank is doing really well, other than uh, some of the issues I'm having is some green cyanobacteria, which you can see throughout the substrate. Um, I've been battling that for a couple weeks now. I just vacuum it out every time I do a water change and I'm just trying to kind of keep it at bay. Uh, I do believe that that's probably as a result of the fact that my nutrients are still out of balance in this aquarium. Um, I've got high nitrates but almost zero phosphates so I've been trying to get those in balance uh, just doing regular water changes and trying to feed heavy to increase the phosphates but uh, things still seem kind of out of whack. Uh, other than that, everything else is doing fine. My fish are doing fine. Uh, the corals are very vibrant, colorful, as you can see. They're all great polyp extension, great growth. Uh, my frog spawn's growing. My hammer coral there has doubled in size since I've gotten it. The Hollywood Stunner Chalice right next to it, that thing is just getting absolutely massive and bigger and bigger every day that I look at it. Um, that's getting to the point where I need to move that out of this aquarium eventually anyway. Um, but yeah, other than that, this tank, like I said, is doing really well, except for this green cyanobacteria, which I am battling. Um, if I can't get it under control, ChemiClean might be my next step, but until then, I'm just going to kind of try to keep it at bay. Uh, it doesn't really seem to be harming anything, so. Uh, but other than that, yeah, the 20 gallon is doing great, and uh, I'm going to keep doing what it's doing, letting it kind of just do its own thing and keep everything's growing and everything is healthy, so. Uh, there you go. That is it for the 20 gallon. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look at my 60 gallon aquarium. Um, last update I did on this was after the dinoflagellate treatment that I did and completely eradicated them. They have still been gone and have not come back uh, since uh, the end of the treatment that I did. Excuse me while I fix the lens here a little bit. I've got a little bit of a flare there. Um, but yeah, other than that, the tank is doing well, the fish are healthy, uh, they're swimming around, enjoying life, um, the corals seem to be doing well, um, everything kind of came back from the uh, dino treatment, I didn't really have any issues, the only thing, um, as you can see though, I still have a bit of a hair algae problem that I'm trying to battle right now, um, so you get rid of one thing and there's something else that you gotta battle. Um, the dinos are gone though, and I'm glad they are. Hair algae is a little bit easier to handle than dinoflagellates. Um, so, a uh, little couple issues. I did have some bleaching here on this uh, coral frag. I don't know if it's going to continue or if it's going to bounce back. That's something I'm just going to have to keep an eye on. And that actually happened from dinos clinging onto it. Other than that, everything else is growing. Uh, you can see my bird's nest here is just growing like crazy. Every time I come down here, it's splitting new branches and it's just growing like a weed. So uh, fish, like you see, you can they're swimming around, having a good time. Uh, it looks like they're kind of hungry right now this morning. I haven't fed them yet because I'm going to do a water change soon. But um, other than that, everything is doing well. Um, I got my nutrients back in balance with this tank finally. Uh, my nitrates are currently sitting about 10 ppm and my phosphate sitting about 0.08. Uh, so they've kind of gone on to a little bit of the high side. I'm going to hopefully take care of that with a water change today and hopefully bring those down and try to keep them in balance, which is going to be key to keeping those dinos at bay. Um, reduction in phosphate would probably help me with my hair algae issue. I'll just keep battling that as I go, siphoning out every day as much as I can. I just run a siphon tube from the tank to a filter sock and try to suck out as much hair algae. And these two, Sailfin and my fox face, don't seem to be helping me do anything with my hair algae problem at this point. Uh, they nip at it here and there, but uh, they just don't seem interested in it like they did originally when I put them in this tank and had a hair algae problem. 
Uh, they just seem to be more interested waiting for me to throw some Mices in the tank versus eat the Heralgy. But uh, we'll just keep uh, at it, keep siphoning it out, try to lower my night my phosphates a little bit and hopefully get, get some of this hair algae out of there uh, and hopefully eradicate it over the next couple weeks. Other than that, only time will tell. You just kind of got to keep going and keep at it. And I, hopefully I'm going to let this encrusting coral defeat some of that hair algae. It seems to be winning a battle there. So that's what's going on with the 60 gallon aquarium. Uh, everything's good. Everything's thriving. Right now it's just kind of keeping everything in balance and letting it happen. Alright, so let's take a look at the new to me used 135 gallon tank that I just purchased. Uh, I got this off of Facebook Marketplace. Paid about 300 bucks for it came with the tank, the stand, and a 55 gallon uh, aquarium to use as a sump. Uh, this aquarium is an Oceanic Systems Aquarium, measures 6 foot by 24 by 18, uh, comes out to be 135 gallons. Uh, Oceanic Systems used to be like the Cadillac of fish aquariums back in the day, but have since gone out of business. Uh, but they made quality aquariums and that is basically what spurred me to drop the $300 on this is I knew it was an oceanic and I knew it was quality and I knew it was going to be a good tank for uh, what I wanted to do with it. Um, the tank came drilled on the side for an overflow as you can see here. Um, also has a drill hole down there in the bottom. I think they use this return and on the opposite side it's also get a return drill. So the aquarium is already drilled which is really nice um, but the drill spots are kind of odd. Um, this kind of leaves this set up for doing like a peninsula style tank uh, which I may do. Uh, the one return hole down here which is kind of an odd spot. I don't know why you would put a return so deep in the aquarium. I think I'm probably just going to use as a like drain for the tank. Uh, put a bulkhead there and put a ball valve so I can run a hose right to a drain. So the only thing that was wrong with this aquarium when I got it was old seals, which I did redo all the seals in the aquarium, and that's pretty much all I've done to it so far. So here is the 55 gallon tank that they gave me as a sump. Uh, they had some acrylic baffles siliconed in here. The first one is pretty decent, but the other three were absolutely terrible. Uh, and just they, they globbed silicone everywhere as you can see here. So it's going to take me some time to scrape all that out and redo this sump and put some new baffles in there and get that set up for the aquarium. Now I've still got a couple things to sort out with this aquarium. A is going to be where it sits in the basement. I either want to run it as a peninsula style or put it over here lengthwise next to the 60 gallon aquarium. Um, it's set up to run as a peninsula, which I'm definitely thinking of going, uh, but may turn it the other way and run it lengthwise, but I'm not sure. Um, only time will tell once I figure out where to put it and can get everything leveled out. Alright, so there you have it. There's the update on my 20 gallon, my 60 gallon, and the introduction of my new 135 gallon. Uh, now the 135, I'm going to take my time to build it and do it right. I want to make sure that I have everything planned out as best as I can. And also it's going to take me some time to purchase any equipment and stuff like that that I'm going to need for it. Uh, I do want to reuse as much stuff off the 60 gallon as possible, especially some of the high end stuff, you know, like my Apex, uh, the AI Nero pumps, uh, the Hydra 26s for lighting. So eventually it is going to be an upgrade, but I'm going to basically only be taking the fish and corals out of that tank. Uh, the rock is covered in vermitted snails. I do not want it in my new aquarium, and I do not want to introduce those snails into the 135. So uh, pretty much once I get it cycled and up and running, we'll do a transfer and put everything in. But like I said, that's going to take some time. Uh, could be months. I'm hoping actually to have it uh, set up before you know the end of the year uh, is kind of like my, my ultimate goal. So it gives me a good six months or so to get everything planned and put together. So be sure, if you are not already, to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button um, and hit the uh, reminder button as well to keep up on any updates that I post on the 135. Like I guess they're not going to be rolling out every week, but they will come slowly but surely as I get the tank put together. So anyway, thanks for stopping by the channel today. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video.